Super excited to be here uh, for the virtual witch camp. I was uh, at witch camp in person last year, and of course we were so excited about being able to do this in person, but then I wouldn't have had these guys. So um, I'm here with Rick Branch and Brian Hobart, and these are my partners in crime. We, um, uh, we have a good time playing music together, and we've played for a few years. So because it was going to be all ladies, these guys wouldn't have been able to be here. So I'm actually really excited about this part. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. I've been um, aware that I was a witch ever since I was very young. I'm a Scorpio, so I was kind of born right into that energy. Um, and I grew up doing martial arts and playing music, and that's really where I learned about energy and how I learned um, to work with energy that's inside me and, um, and also how to trust the energy that was outside of me. Um, so I still practice martial arts. Um, I'm a, I'm a magician as well as a witch, so I do study the Western mystery tradition, um, and I practice yoga, and these are kind of all part of my practice. And I grew up playing the flute, and then uh, at some point in my 20s, I started playing guitar, and I started writing music, and this was also when I was like very seriously practicing witchcraft. And the, I wasn't really writing songs yet, but all of the music that was coming through me and what I was doing with my music, I was just using it in like my personal ritual practice. So nowadays what I do with this music is, um, you know, I lead women's circles and I lead a group ritual and we use the music. He wants you. We use the music as part of the ritual experience. So um, let me just tell you what we're going to do a little bit. This is going to be very experiential, so I'm just going to kind of talk a little bit in the beginning, just like I am, and uh, share some of these things with you, but then um, we're going to do what we do in our ritual for you um, so that you can feel what it feels like to, to be inside of the music, to be inside of the sound. Something that I do is called ethereal magic. And it's, I use my voice when I'm doing all of this. Um, so it's, it's how I feel it moving through my body and it's how I'm accessing spirit itself. It's how I'm accessing my spirit. Um, and then there's another thing too I'll just say about our bodies and our own voices. You know, it, our bodies are our instruments and each one of us, our bodies make different sounds. And whether you think that you're a good singer or not, the sound that comes out of your own body actually heals you. And um, so when we're working with different sounds, um, whether they're like happy sounds or sad sounds, uh, we're accessing different places in the body, we're accessing different emotions, we're accessing different energy. So um, part of what we'll do in this ritual is you'll get an opportunity to say some things out loud. I know I'm not with you in person, it is really great when you're in person because I'll have you come up to the cauldron and say some things out loud and really vibrate and we're playing so loud that it really gives people the opportunity to like be loud and, and not have to be self-conscious about being heard. But um, part of the magic that I do is definitely using my voice and I encourage people to use their voice, speak to the flame, say out loud what it is that you're letting go of. Just like we say out loud our affirmations, there's a vibration that happens. So what you're going to need, you're gonna to wanna to have your journal you're going to want to have your cards. Oracle tarot is totally fine. Um, you're going to want to have a piece of paper that you can burn because we're going to write some things on it and you're going to want to light that paper on fire. So I understand if you can't do the fire thing, you can just rip it up into shreds and you can either bury that, you can put it in water and then bury it. I really like to use the fire. So um, I like to light my papers on fire. I have a cauldron here. If you have a little cauldron, if you have a pot, from your kitchen, um, you know, and you don't need to have a huge piece of paper, just kind of something small that is like safe to burn. Um, you want to have a candle to light, and I think that's it. And yourself, and also, uh, we're going to do a part that is the sound bath, 
the end. Um, and so if you want to lay down, maybe set yourself up for that. Um, have pillows, blankets. You're also totally free to sit and uh, sit with your spine straight and do meditation. The purpose of it is also um, to access all the energy that is inside of us that gets access with the sound, but this is also time that messages are coming through. So I think that's all the, all the technical things. <sighs> So we're in the new moon. I know all you witches know this. We are in the new moon. We're in uh, the first couple degrees. Um, we're at the solstice, and then the eclipse is gonna be happening uh, early in the morning. And so, um, and there's a, you know, there's a ton of planets in retrograde. So what's happening is when all these planets are going retrograde too, we tend to experience it sometimes as negative, but really what, it, what these, what the energy is doing is it's it's digging inside of you it's going backwards and it's releasing stuff from the past stuff that you've been holding on to or stuff that you need to process now so that it can move out so there's so much energy that's present right now and um i'm just gonna invite you just to allow yourself to just be exactly how you are and feel exactly how you're feeling let all of it just be there and then really feel how it moves through you through this experience and um in the end you know you have an opportunity to make notes and i'd love to hear how it feels but really just like don't try to control just allow this experience to happen and with that i invite you all to close your eyes and take a nice deep breath let your spine to get nice and tall. Elongate your neck and reach the crown of your head up to the sky. Stay tall like that. When you exhale, you're going to release the shoulders down away from the ears. And just let anything that's extra start to slide down your back. Let it pass through the ground that you're sitting on, whatever you're sitting on, and send it all the way down into the earth and let it just keep going until she's got it. Then you're gonna inhale earth energy up your body, allow the spine to get nice and long, spread your collarbones, elongate your neck, reach the back of your head. When you get to the top of the exhale, just lightly draw your navel in and again, release your shoulders and let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Let it roll off your back. Let it sink all the way down into the earth. And we're gonna do one more big inhale to the sides of your waist. Breathe into your heart. Breathe into the back of your lungs. Spread your collarbones. Feel this energy drawing all the way up to the crown. And this time you exhale, just let this energy spill all around you in all directions starting to create a regenerating force field so it'll spill all the way down around you you can drop back up when you inhale through your root chakra and it can come all the way up and out and continue breathing on your own uh -huh.
keeping your eyes closed. We're standing in the center of the directions. We've been calling them all day. Just acknowledging the direction of air. Acknowledging the direction of the fire. Acknowledging the direction of water. Acknowledging the direction of earth. We acknowledge the energy above us and we acknowledge the energy below and we acknowledge the energy within. We call upon our guides, our teachers, our angels, our ancestors, our animal totems, and all of the energies and spirits working with us in 100% pure white light for our greatest good and personal development. We honor your presence in our life and we thank you for it. We invite you into our circle. And so it is. We're going to play a song for you called Violet Flame. And this is something that we use to create a protective energy around us.
Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Okay, so I'm just gonna come up to the front and just make sure that everything's okay. Um, now is a time that I would invite you to open your journals, get your pens, and go ahead and pull a card. So, I invite you to um, set an intention for this ritual, for this circle. This will be a little bit different than the intentions that we're setting as part of the ritual. This is just, why are you here? What is it that you're showing up with? It's just like a little bit of a check-in and it's allowing you to reflect on the card. Another thing too with this music, we're gonna play for you while you do this journaling. So we're gonna give you a couple minutes just to really free flow. And um, something with this music, especially when we play these songs that don't have words, um, the purpose is so that your guides can communicate with you. And also, as you, as you um, have some intentions for your experience here, feel free to share them in the chat.
I was checking the chat, but I don't see anything in there. Um, yes, I can see that. Yes, they're watching. Um, so just um, my intention here is um, just to be in Mitchell Wall with all of you. There's so many really intense and painful things that are going on in the world right now, and I've been very affected by all of this. And, um, and I think that it's really great that we're all gonna be here and be doing ritual together. Magicians and witches have been uh, celebrating at the solstices forever. And it's a time that we are all practicing right now. We're all practicing all around the world. Um, so many people that I know are releasing their voices out into the universe right now. So the work that you are doing right now, um, you're doing it in unison with so many others. So we are going to move into a song that we use to release things. So with everything that's up right now um, and what's coming up for you personally with the astrology, with um, the Black Lives Matter movement, with COVID, with um, everything that's coming along with all of it, what are some things that you yourself could personally let go of? If you look at, so if we're gonna set intentions at the solstice, right? This is a powerful time for our own life to reset, to recreate our future. So start from this point and say, what do I want? Not only my next six months to be until we get to the winter solstice, but and especially right now, like what am I learning what, what I've been learning about my life, what, what needs to change? What is, what is it that I really want to be doing with my energy? What is my purpose? So how is it that you've been activated? So we're looking at that. We're looking at what it is that we're creating, what we want to create, where we're going, but what is it that stands in your way? What is it that is showing you that it is time to be released? Old thought processes, old behaviors, your your old way of life so we're going to play this song for you and it's going to give you the opportunity to write these things down and then light them on fire so we'll play we'll play for a good amount of time so that you can have this whole experience um and you know in the in the teaching of this um really feeling the power of music and ritual feel how it helps you, how the sounds of this song help you dive deeper into what, into the darkness that's there, into something that does need to be let go of. This song I'll actually tell you, it's called uh, We Are the Daughters of the Ones Who Burned. So this is very much a song for all of my witches, um, for all of us that remember our past lives, for all of us that can feel in our bodies um, the oppression that we've experienced as magical practitioners, as witches, as healers, as women. And I sing this song um, as, you know, for all of us and, and that we're releasing that because we're all awakening to that right now. We're awakening to these past lives. We're awakening to our own powers. We're identifying with our, the witch inside of us. And uh, some of us are making our whole lives about it. So. Um, that's the thing as well. It's like, we have this power. Some of us have been working on this for lifetimes. And so we're gonna use this song that I write for all of you, that I sing for all of you, and we're gonna use this as our song to really let go of what it is that needs to be let go. And you can even let go energetically. You don't have to even have exactly the words for it, but you wanna let it go and you wanna pour that into the paper that you are writing on that you're gonna burn. This is not one that we wanna keep. This is one that we want to burn. So, as you write it, then you will light it on fire. I'm going to do this to light my cauldron on fire. I'm releasing what is past, what served me then, that no longer serves me now. And I release it to the fire in the air.
Feel the empty space. And exhale, let it go. We're gonna do it two more times. Take a deep inhale and really visualize that white, pure light of potential. Draw it into your body. Breathe it into the dark spaces and breathe it into the empty places. time. 
time. Breathe it in. Spread your collarbones. Fill your womb space. Fill your whole body with your potential, with your new cycle, with your purpose. And as you exhale, you're going to send it down through your body, through your legs, through your feet, and plant it into the earth beneath you. And when you're ready, return to normal breathing. If you have sage, now is the time to light it or something else that you use to clear energy. And we're gonna move into the sound bath. So if you would like to share in the comments what it is that you let go of for a further affirmation that you let it go and then it's gone, please do so so you can share with each other. So before we set intentions, I like to move into the sound bath. And we use the sound bath for further clearing of anything else that's, that's leaving as we're letting go, for healing as we're open, and for messages to come through because now you have space. So we're gonna play for you probably about 15 minutes. <clears throat> so get comfortable. Um, I definitely invite you to keep your eyes closed. Um, and when we come out of this, we're going to come out and immediately journal. And so I do always invite you to have that journal near you. If there's something that you feel like you need to write it down during the middle, um, the messages might change as we go through different songs. And, and these songs are gonna start in your lower chakra and they're gonna move up. I did focus on all the witchy ones for you ladies. Um, but this, this definitely moves through the physical part of the body. So um, we're accessing energy in there, we're releasing energy in there, and we're doing alchemy with the energy in there.
Wiggling your fingers and your toes and breathing it in, just breathing into your lungs, expand. And as you exhale, let it reside in there. So go ahead and grab your journals and um, go ahead and make some notes. Any messages you, you received, you want to write all of those down and let that information translate into some intentions that you would like to set. And please feel free to share in the chat.
love to hear how this was for you. I'm just going to come up and um, have a look in the chat. Thank you all so much for sharing. Um, <clears throat> so, um, let's all take a nice deep breath together. Just all of us take and let it go and feel yourself become grounded. And let's take a nice big breath, elongating our spine and exhaling and sending it down through your body into the ground becoming rooted and grounded and connecting with the earth and then let's take another big one and exhaling being connected with the earth being energized from our connection with the earth so i would love to hear from all of you um, I'm on the I'm on the page and um, and I'll be in the rest of the festival. Um, so I want to just uh, share a few things with you and then and then we're actually just gonna play a song for fun at the end. Um, so you know, doing this work myself and singing is really really how I do my best magic and I love to use the fire. Um, I sing to the fire. I bring my candles with me to the different places that I'm going to be singing and then I bring them back into my house and I light them there. Um, and so, you know, I might have be working in different specifics with the candles, but I allow them to absorb my energy and absorb my process. So I invite you to work with your candle. Um, there's a few different things you can do. If you have one, if you have something like this, uh, these will burn for a few days. And um, if you have the ability, like if you don't have little kids or cats that are going to knock them over, it's really nice to let this burn, especially at, at like a solstice time, because this, this work is so powerful. It's really nice just to leave this burning and let it burn all the way out. You can put it in a pot. You can put water in the pot in case you're afraid of like an earthquake or it's spilling over. And then if you, if, if that's not an option for you, um, then you just put it out. You, know, you don't want to blow it out. You just want to put a cover on the top of it so that it'll extinguish from not having enough oxygen. And you let it go out. And every single time you relight this candle, you want to say those same intentions. I like to write them on a little piece of paper. Um, even if I've had it in my journal, I'll also write it on a little piece of paper and just put it underneath the candle so that every time I come to it, if it's burning, um, I might take the paper, say my intentions out loud, um, and then, you know, it's just there. And so um, you can s use this candle, sit in front of it, do a meditation, and visualize all of those things that you're trying to create for yourself. And I tell, I say it to the fire. There is something that is very powerful about that. And, um, I mean, we're all going to find, like, our own personal magic, right? But that's absolutely fine. So... You can find us. We have music that's recorded. Um, my name's spelled J-A-I-M-E. It's Jamie Black, and uh, you can find me on iTunes and Spotify. You can find me at jamieblack.com. Um, all my music and videos and all my different offerings are there. Um, I invite you to come there and visit. And if you, let me see if I can go put something in the chat. If you go to jamieblack.com, what will pop up right away is something asking you if you would like to be on my newsletter and that I'll send you a free song. If you, if you do that and you go and sign up for that, I'll make sure that I send you out the song tonight. And I'll send you one of these songs that we played, uh, the first song during the sound bath. It's a seven minute song. It doesn't have words, it just has the vocal the vocals and both all of us are playing and it's really great for meditation especially if you only have time for seven minutes or it's a really good song to put on repeat and it just goes and actually wrote it for that 
Um, so I'd, I'd love to share that with you. And, and we just recorded a live album that's called Season of the Witch. So it's some of these songs that we played, it's all of like the super witchy stuff, because I, I also write all these really pretty love songs, and so I've just we've made an album that doesn't have the, uh, the pretty love songs, and it's just the witchy stuff, and um, it's gonna be coming out. I might save it till the fall. It's gonna be coming out sometime soon. So with that, we will play you one of the love songs. Just for contrast and to send, give you something uh, to send you off with into the night. Um, you know, midsummer is is known. It's this is mid. This is where midsummer's night's dream comes from. The idea is you stay up all night long and you burn a fire and um, you share with your friends or your lovers. And so, I hope you all have a very long and festive evening ahead. gonna play this song I'll just tell you one little story about it it's called all my life and I wrote it when I moved to Avalon for the first time and I was going there with this expectation of having a very like witchy experience and writing all this really dark music and um, I ended up writing this
Sisters, I'll see you all in the morning.